Good evening. We've heard competing theories about what's really causing those sudden spasms afflicting students from Leroy. Tonight, another local neurologist tells News 4's Rachel Kingston it has far more to do with the mind than the environment. What we are witnessing in Leroy may be a medical phenomenon known as a mass psychogenic outbreak. That's the opinion of Dr. David Lichter, who has treated one of the teenage girls suffering from seemingly unexplainable tics. Very often is a very small number who initially may have some true symptom biologically based and then there's kind of a mass modeling of behavior that goes on where other individuals develop the same symptoms. In the Leroy case, three of the original 12 girls have been diagnosed with genuine tick disorders, including one who has Tourette's. But that does not mean, according to Dr. Lichter, that the others are quote-unquote faking it. Almost as, this, as if they empathize physically uh, with, the, with, the, with the original sufferers, but it's at a subconscious level. Um, and I believe that's probably the case in the majority of these uh, Leroy students. How does that happen? Doctors aren't entirely sure, but they do believe people who catch the symptoms often have underlying risk factors themselves. One of those risk factors is being a girl. Some people think that females tend to uh, perhaps internalize stress more, maybe they're more empathetic for some reason. But we also believe that a large number of these individuals have themselves stressful events in their own lives, uh, major uh, psychological issues that they're trying to cope with. Dr. Lichter believes the onslaught of media attention hasn't helped. I think it definitely can be to the detriment of these individuals uh, if alternative explanations continue to be raised by the media. That may also be the case with YouTube and Facebook videos showing the teen's symptoms. That does have the potential to spread the symptomatology over the web in a way that uh, was not the case with mass outbreaks like this in the past. And the Leroy case was featured once again on HLN's Dr. Drew show tonight. There were interviews with parents and students and Aaron Brockovich's team, which is trying to, has been trying to connect this to a 1971 train derailment and toxic spill. That, Diana, is exactly the kind of thing that Dr. Lichter says the less of, the better. Live, Rachel Kingston for the 10 o'clock news.